In August 2018, just like we do every year before the start of school, my family and I sit in a circle in our living room. This is a tradition. I am the last person to join the circle because I'm too busy on my phone looking at makeup videos. The first one to speak is my dad. Okay, chamacos, ya van a empezar la escuela y quiero que le pongan ganas y esfuerzos. Yo no quiero saber que anden en malos pasos. My mom looks at me and my four siblings and says, Quiero que le echen muchas ganas y que tenga buenas calificaciones y que sepan que voy a estar aquí. I am not surprised when I hear these words. My mom and my dad are just looking out for me and my siblings. They have hearts of pure gold. My father and mother started working at 15. Each morning they helped my aunties at a store. My parents didn't have enough money, nor have anyone to guide them. They moved to the United States so that my siblings and I could have a better life and a good education. Today my mom wakes up at 5 a.m. and finishes from her job at 1 p.m. My dad is up at 7 a.m. and it's work at the restaurant at 2 a.m. They return home tired with bags under their eyes. My parents work hard so my siblings and I could have a roof over our heads. But they still make sure our family has everything we need. I am able to go to the mall, go to the movies, and a lot of other things because of my parents. I tell my parents, Gracias a mamá y papá, los quiero tanto. They both would tell me, pues se lo merecen y siguen poniendo esfuerzo en la escuela. On the evening of last presidential election, my family and I watched the news. I prayed in silence with my hands together and my eyes closed, praying to God for the winner to be Hillary Clinton. When they announced that Donald Trump won, my heart dropped. For several days, I was stressed, unable to eat or sleep. Oh, Trump promised to deport Mexican immigrants, and I didn't want to imagine my parents being away from me. My parents tried not to show fear in their faces, so me and my siblings wouldn't worry. I knew deep down in my heart they were not okay. I was mad. My parents worked so hard to get what they are, and practically nothing to show for it. I was confused. Why Donald Trump wanted to separate families when all they want is the best for their children? I love my parents. My mom is my best friend. She knows when I'm feeling down or when I'm not feeling right. One day I was stressed about me not passing school, but my mom came and told me to have faith. My dad is my second best friend. He finds a way to make me smile and laugh. One day when I was in a bad mood, my dad came and made a joke. I told him, estoy mal. He said, ora quieres tan mal? I laughed. Recently I told my parents, I'm gonna give you guys everything you guys gave me. I'm going to make it big and make you guys happy, I promise. My plan is to start my own makeup line and hopefully everyone buys some. Donald Trump isn't going to stop me from meeting my goals. He's just a motivation for me not to give up. My parents tell me, Creemos en ti y queremos lo mejor para ti.